Hello, this is Andrew and welcome back to my another video about server stuff. So, today I will show you how to turn off the HP blade without the blade center, as you may see. It's already here. If you can see it. The the second one is already updated if you saw the last video about it it will be quite simple to turn it off, there is a switches over there you just need I already done it but I will do it just again you just need, there is a number 5 in default they come like that so the blade center control this one but if you do and switch it one two three four five to the here the blade center can work separately without the, the i mean the blade can work separately without the blade center so if you have some hard drive with operating system on it and some wi-fi model to plug it in it will just work and turn it on and you can uh, make a remote session for it and configure it or update whatever you wanted to do with it. About this special blade, it is uh, Generation 6 460 series. As you may see, there is a sticker on it. Uh, this one have uh, two 10 gigabits internet card and uh, 8 gigabits write controller from the. Uh, if it was Q Logic. Yeah, it was the logic. And to power up, you just need uh, some 12 of batteries with uh, some external charge. And let's do it up, see if it works. I know. I already prepared for it. Just to plug and keep a heel. It's a little bit hard to do with one hand. And then minus and plus. And you can see the battery led already is green and he should start to check it himself. Yeah, it's a, it blinks because it doesn't have any RAM. Oh, the processor in, so that's I can turn it on. Oh, I can't. To there is an USB connection here you need to disassemble this one this is just going up this goes here if you screw it up and you can stick all what you want well that's almost all. Oh, I will show you. Okay. This is my test hard drive. So just unplug this. Take a special main HP screw drive. I still need to update this one blade because that was this is already updated. Just take it out like this, and let's take it the processor out where it was, was over here. 
One, two. And I'll do the same over here. Careful to not hit the pins. I'll run in the second hand. Okay. All is fine, yep, all is fine. Special HP made screwdriver, otherwise, you will have problems to do something with it. So, let me just check. Fine, and I'll just take one stick from here because I just need to show that this it is operational. Well, now it's plugged in, and let's power it up. It's already drained about two amps from the charger and now diagnose itself and I can power it up see it's working just need to Turn on number five switch, that's all. And it's scream about the memory probably. Yep, the memory. Long spun. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Plug it back. Let's try it again. Nope, it's still red. Okay, it complains about the memory.
something here because as I mentioned before it's a little bit hard yep the problem is here ah shit Fuck. stupid compound now I need something to clean it ah. Why do they make so much of it? And I need something to brush, probably. Cleaning up. Well, now it seems all fine. So let me check the CPU other side. Hmm, here is all fine. Here is all fine. Well, let's plug it back again. Oops, sorry. It's hard to, to film and do something. They are four gigabytes for memory. Three. Four. Five. And number six. Okay, give me that. Oh, it's all plugged. Sitting back where it was. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Just was fine. Um, the third attempt to switch it on.
Yep, now it works. Because I can hear the second beep. The diagnostic mode will pass it out. What's it? What is all? Okay. If the haste thing start to warm up, let me just take my dead hard drive for testing. He's totally dead. But it paused really long. things start to heat up so this will be all for now so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video will be how to update the firmers on it see ya